Yeah. Happy Friday, niggas. It's JG. Shout out to Calvin. Shout out to New Orleans to my homeboy, my good brother, Calvin. Big Smooth on the ones and twos. That was um, something for my partner. Yeah. But today I wanted to talk about something. I wanted, I wanted to talk about our parents, especially black parents. Are we concerned with our children's education? Are we involved like we need to be in our children's education? And I'm talking about this because here, it was this week, it was yes, two days ago, I went up to a school. And before I finish, I recently I've been driving around to a lot of local schools in the city. I've since I've been back, I've had been blessed enough to be able to have the time to um, go to a lot of the schools and neighborhoods and visit. But anyway, this particular school I went to yesterday, I mean two days ago, predominantly black school. I think ninety five percent of the children are black. But this is what fucked me up. When I went and I've been shown around by one of my colleagues, a good brother of mine, um, he introduced me to, I asked him, were parents, were parents uh, involved? Like, what was the percentage? If he could give me an approximate of the parents' participation. Um, and he was like, man, little to none. So he, he introduced me to the goddamn lady who's over the head of the parent association, whatever you want to call it, white lady. Uh, forgot her name. I think her name was fucking name was Marcy Marcy Copeland. I think I want to say Marcy Copeland. Good European sister. We had a good conversation, and um, she was let and I asked her the same question: Do she get a lot of participation? And she said that's one of the things she is having a hard time with because she can't get any help from the parents. And for a whole school year, she has only gotten an email response back from one parent. Now, why am I talking about this? Because, niggas, I'm talking about a 95% black student population with no parents involved. And you got one lady who don't even look like the students who serve the school who that the total makeup of the school but she's catching all this hell she can't get y'all niggas well not you but she cannot get help from parents and that's sad because the truth of ma the truth of the matter is if it was basketball practice football practice or some dance or step shit some you know niggas would be out there with all kind of chicken or cousins of the student you got friends of the family everybody would be out there to support a child for an extracurricular activity endeavor such as sports because for whatever reason we think by throwing our children to sports and showing our support, our solidarity in sports that, you know, that's all we need to do. But children need to know that we are interested, that we are concerned about their academics. If they don't think that our parents and our family members value education and not even that the school education, but value knowledge, value accumulated knowledge with the purpose of applying the knowledge is very important. If they don't see that shit, what do you think they're going to do? What do you think they're going to do when they got these teachers telling them to read this, study this, do this, this is going to help you, lecture them about a particular subject, and they don't see, they don't have a culture at home that values education. They don't have a support system, family members who are adamant, who are very assertive in ensuring that they get something up here so they can apply it and do something of themselves. So shout out to Marcy, my European sister, but man, niggas got to step up. Just, don't just show your face at goddamn football practice. Anywhere in Jacksonville, wait to football season. When y'all go to these schools and um, little league parks, you're going to see niggas in droves. Niggas is going to be everywhere lined up 
to support little day day um catching the ball but niggas ain't going to open house they not they not I, they're not well not in, in a lot in, um drove numbers as we need as we need the representation so we gotta step that up and one more thing that old information that we that i got that we got about just go to college and get an education get a good job no that shit's dead don't tell the kids that don't tell the gist that it's more about just getting a job being employed being an employee for someone forever but get the job with the intent to leverage that to get some to get your own business and if you want if you want them to get a job we need to thank for our kids and let them know hey if you want to get a job work for somebody we need you need to go in this field go in this field but with the intent to become an entrepreneur so with me personally i am programming my children to be entrepreneur minded i am programming them to accumulate information and the maths and the sciences and most importantly technology with that said um man support these children man support them in everything that they want to do but make sure that they understand that their family members value education because if they don't see y'all niggas active and showing interest in their education what the hate ain't gonna happen um anyway think about that shit for a second as always subscribe to my youtube channel tell a friend um I love y'all. Be safe out there. Yo.